Boy, have I got news for you. You know Fender's micro-tilt system that Fender invented in 1971? Well, it turns out Fender didn't invent it at all. Ampeg did it first, and probably in 1966 at the latest. I recently made a video on an Ampeg AEB-1 scroll headstock base, but decided to reveal this on its own video. Check this out. Remove the plastic cover, and you'll see four neck bolts, and lo and behold, a set screw. The set screw fits an eighth inch Allen wrench, and testing with my thread detective confirmed that it's a quarter twenty thread. Hmm. What do those dimensions sound like? Interesting. You can also see the contact points for the set screw on the heel of the neck. And looking at the neck pocket itself, you can see a metal insert for the quarter twenty set screw to thread into. It's a micro tilt adjuster, plain and simple. And judging by the serial number, AEB1 serial numbers go from 001 to about 1250. This base was probably made in 1967. Production began in July of 1966 and stopped at some point in 68, according to Bruce Johnson on his website at xstrange.com. So there you have it. Fender didn't think of it first. Ampeg did. As for how I figured this out, I actually pulled a Fender here and didn't figure it out myself at all. I actually brought this over to Steve as he was curious to take a look at it, being the vintage guitar guru who's been repairing, buying, and selling guitars since the mid-60s. Upon removing the neck screw cover, he pointed out the set screw on the back and immediately recognized it as a neck tilt adjuster. I'd been so focused on correcting the original problem, I hadn't even bothered to look under there. Clearly Fender did though, and five years after these bases went into production, Fender was able to say, hey, look what we came up with now, and probably assassinated the first guy from Ampeg who threatened to spill the beans. I don't know what to say about that, but me and Steve had a pretty good time playing the original instrument with a micro-tilt adjuster. Mm -hmm.